That's called a freight yard. And it is where freight cars from all over the country come together and are reassembled to form new trains with new destinations. How do they know which cars go where? Great question, Terry. They do it through a process called humping. When a freight car is scheduled to leave the yard, it is moved to an area called the hump. As it is pushed over the hump, the car is cut loose and allowed to roll free. A switchman then reads a marking on the car and determines which train it needs to be attached to. He does that by switching the tracks to change the direction of the rolling car. The freight car then rolls freely to its intended train, but not before passing through a set of brakes, which slows the car down to a safe speed. How do they actually attach the cars to make a train? Trains are linked together in two ways. First is by a steel coupler, which attaches itself to the next car in line. And second, by a set of air hoses, which are used to operate the brakes of each individual train car. As soon as the new train is assembled, it sets off on its journey. I don't see trains like that in my train set. I wonder how many cars that engine is pulling. Look, that train is being pulled by one, two, three, four, five, six engines. That train is so long. Guys, our time's running short. We gotta get out of here.